Hi, this is Kathy from WordFence. Today, we're going to take a look at a feature in WordFence to help keep your site safe, the login security features. These features have a number of tools to strengthen the security of your WordPress login. Let's take a look. From your WordPress dashboard, find WordFence. Click Login Security. This will take you to the two-factor authentication screen. Two-factor authentication, or commonly referred to as 2FA, requires the use of an authenticator app on your smartphone. There are a number of options. Some popular authenticator apps include Google Authenticator, Free OTP, Authy, or LastPass Authenticator. To add your site to two-factor authentication to your authenticator app, use your smartphone camera to scan the QR code on this page. I'll do that now. Your app will give you a six digit code. Enter that code from your authenticator app right here. And then click activate. WordFence will prompt you to download recovery codes. If you ever lose access to your authenticator device, you can use these recovery codes to log in. Download that file and save it. Save it someplace safe. Let's take a look at how logging in with two-factor authentication works. From your login screen, you'll enter your username and password like you've done in the past. Next, the system will prompt you for your 2FA code that your authenticator app will provide for you. Click login. It's that simple. Let's take a look at some other features of WordFence login security. If you ever find the need to generate new recovery codes, you can do so here. If you need to deactivate WordFence two-factor authentication, you can do so here. Here, you can enable 2FA for different roles on your site, and you can require that all administrators Use 2FA to keep your site's most sensitive settings safe. A grace period is possible so that administrators have time to set up 2FA before this rule is enforced. Some administrators may want to take advantage of a 30-day grace period so that 2FA is not required for 30 days. This will allow a user's browser to remember their authentication. This does not override password requirements. It's only applicable to 2FA. Scrolling down, we see the settings for XML RPC authentication. If enabled, XML RPC calls that require authentication will also require a valid 2FA code to be appended to the password. You must choose the skipped option here. If you use the WordPress app Jetpack or other services that require XML RPC, you can whitelist IP addresses or IP address ranges that will bypass 2FA requirements. If you know that you will always access your WordPress administrative dashboard from the same IP, you can whitelist your own IP in this field. If you're not sure what your IP address is, Google what's my IP address to find out. If your IP address rotates, you may not want to use this feature. reCAPTCHA is a service that detects whether or not a bot is using your site. This is a Google provided service and there are two different types of reCAPTCHA versions available. Version 2 uses pictures selected by the site visitor to ensure the site is being accessed by a human. You've likely seen these where you're shown pictures of cars, stoplights, and other photos. reCAPTCHA version 3 or v3 detects movements of a mouse and other parameters to determine if a human is visiting the site. It's seamless and invisible to the end user. It does, however, require that you obtain a free site key and secret in order to use the service. A link is available here to use that with WordFence login security. We hope this tour of login security has given you some ideas in strengthening login security for a WordPress website. All of these features are available in the free version of WordFence.